Hi, I'm Francesc Campoy, and today I would like to show you how Source Engine can help you analyze and better understand all of your code base. The fastest way to get started is by downloading the Source CLI engine. You will find more information at the end of this video and at source.txt slash engine. Let's have a look at the kind of analysis that Source Engine empowers you to do. The first thing you might want to run is source-h. This will show you all of the commands available in Source Engine. Let's start by using source parse. If you run source parse h, you will see all of the commands available for parsing. And one of them is source parse lang, which will identify the programming language for a file given its path and content. Let's read that one. So if I run source parse lang hello.go, it will detect that it's go. Same thing for Java. But what about a .m? What language do you think .m could be? Could be MATLAB, right? But no, actually it's Objective-C. Well, hello2 is MATLAB. So you can see that indeed we actually use not only the file path, but also the content of the file. The next command I'd like to show is source parse UASD, which stands for Universal Abstract Syntax Tree. And when you run it, that's exactly what you will see, a text representation of the abstract syntax tree resulting from parsing that program. We call this abstract syntax tree universal because we have a common format across languages, as well as a series of annotations which are language agnostic. Now we can use those to extract some specific notes from that tree. And we do that by using XPath. In this example, we're extracting all of the identifiers. But what if now you wanted to extract all of the identifiers from a Java program instead of a Go program? Well, that's where the universal part of universal abstract index tree makes sense because you can simply say extract the same thing identifiers from hello.java and it will just simply work. Now let's move on from parsing and into a different command. Let's talk about source SQL. Before you run the command, make sure you go into the directory that contains the repositories that you'd like to analyze. Here, for example, we're going to analyze some of the repositories that Google open sourced under their GitHub organization. Now you can run source SQL followed by any SQL statement and you will see the result immediately. For instance, we're going to run show tables and see how the Git concepts of references, files, blobs, etc. translate into relational tables. If you run source SQL without any statement, you will get into an interactive mode where you can run any queries that you might want. Let's see what repositories we have. They correspond to the directories we just saw before. Or let's count how many commits in total we have. Last but definitely not least, you can run sourced web SQL, and that will open the web playground for sourced engine. Now, in here, you can run any of the queries you saw before, but we understand what is code and what is UASDs, and we'll show those in a more convenient way. When you're visualizing a file content, you can choose the language you'd like to use for syntax highlighting and also UASD parsing. That said, Source Engine also provides a mostly fully compatible SQL interface, which means that your favorite SQL client or library probably already are compatible with Source Engine. So for instance, we can connect with the standard MySQL client. Or even cooler than that, from Python with a Jupyter Notebook. For Python, we also support most MySQL packages. And if yours is not supported, file an issue. I also define a run function that given a query will connect to source engine, send the request, and return the corresponding results. So with these three lines of code, we can list what are the repositories that we're analyzing. We still see the same five repositories we were analyzing before. Do you want to perform a different analysis and see the number of commits over time for all of these repos? Well, you can also do that with SQL and visualize it with just a little bit of Python and PyPlot. Language classification and program parsing are also integrated into the source engine SQL interface as custom functions that allows us to find which languages are the most popular across these repositories per number of files. Program parsing returning UAST is also available as a custom function, and this function is called UAST. These function parameters are the file content, the language you wish to use to parse, and finally, an optional parameter with an XPath expression for the tokens you'd like to extract. Here, we're extracting all of the function names. Once we have that, using Python again, we can create some cool visualization, like a word cloud of the most common function names across all of the repository and languages. Or you can also do the same word clouds, but per language. You can see how each one of these word clouds correspond to a different language, even though the analysis that we performed to generate them was completely language agnostic. So we just saw how language classification, program parsing, and SQL analysis of Git repositories is made available to you through Source Engine. So the next question, of course, is what else will you build? Learn more and get started today by visiting source.txt engine. Thank you.